Welcome to the Somerset Business Success Strategies blog. I've learned a lot about creating happiness from Buddha's philosophy. Buddha would have made a great member of the Somerset Business Consulting Team because he dedicated his life to eliminating suffering from the world. We've taken the same vow on the business uh, consulting team at Somerset CPAs, except we express the objective in the positive result that we hope to achieve, creating happiness. Buddha taught that there were four truths in the world. Number one, that suffering exists. Number two, that there is a cause for this suffering. Number three, that there is a way out. And number four, that that way out is through perfect thought, perfect word, and perfect deed. Now, I've never really had any difficulty convincing people of truth number one. There's plenty of suffering and gnashing of teeth in the business world, so I don't get a lot of pushback there. Some people will try to avoid accountability and claim that truth number two is invalid, that the suffering exists for a reason. But most successful business people have learned to accept the fact that we are responsible for our current circumstances. All of our organizations are uniquely organized to get exactly the results that we are currently getting. Now, the most useful truths are truth three and four. So I'd like to dedicate the rest of the post to exploring how those apply to the business world. So the way out. Knowing that there is a cause for our suffering and that there is a way by which this suffering may be ended is only useful if you know how to do it. Now, fortunately, Buddha didn't leave this to chance. He left a process for us uh, that has been being used for 2,500 years to reduce suffering in the world. Perfect thought, perfect word, and perfect deed. The importance of perfect thought is the reason why most successful individuals, families, and organizations have mission statements, vision, and value statements, and strategic plans. It ensures that everyone is focused on and thinking about the same things and the right things. Buddha taught that you need to seek mind control first. Without perfect thought, you will not be able to progress any further towards reaching your full potential. However, perfect thought alone will not ensure your success. You need to enlist perfect word or communication using all of the communication tools currently available to make sure that everyone is engaging in the perfect thought that leads to perfect action and deeds. Perfect word or communication is essentially leadership, the act of getting everyone on the same page and moving synergistically in the same direction. I just compiled a quick list of possible communication tools that can be used by leaders today. Email, voicemail, podcasts, videos, intranet, internet, memos, individual face-to-face -face meetings, body language, conference calls, video conferencing, and group meetings. Ultimately, Success comes down to execution. Perfect deed refers to our actions. These are the choices that we make in each of the present moments of our lives. We literally create our future by the choices we make in each of these present moments. We can create a future of reaching our full potential or a future of frustration and mediocrity through the cumulative effect of these choices. Buddha taught this about our actions and deeds. Quote, my actions are my only true belongings. I cannot escape the consequences of my actions. My actions are the ground upon which I stand. The power of the system comes through the synergistic and interdependent nature of the three distinct components perfect thought, perfect word, and perfect deed. If you have engaged in perfect thought and effectively communicated these thoughts, 
you create an environment where perfect action can take place if you have the right people on your team. Have you found a way out from all of the organizational suffering in today's business world? We would love to hear from you. Thank you.